Welcome to the DevOps Speakeasy. Um, I'm very happy to be joined by Bruce Schneier. Um, he is a security expert, an author, um, world known for his uh, a series of books he's written, but the latest one is A, a Hacker's Mind. Um, and very excited that you're going to be joining us on stage at Swamp Up as our keynote speaker. So great to, great to meet you, Bruce. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Nice to be here. Awesome. And um, I, I think since since we have a lot of developers and DevOps engineers who are going to be speaking or, or attending Swamp Up, um, what advice would you give them on how the security landscape has changed? Because I think like people in this job background, typically they would delegate security to somebody else in their company. Is that still the case? You know, I don't know. Honestly, I would want to get advice from them. And if it's any advice you want to give, it's like, you know your threat landscape. Right? You know what's going on there more than someone like me. Trust yourself when you see things, when you're looking at delegating or outsourcing or or pretty much anything. Okay? This is a changing world and your environment is going to be your environment. So you know the answer to these questions. Don't look at like some random podcast to get that. <laughs> Trust yourself. Yeah, no, I, I think that like like a lot of folks in our our industry, that increasingly they 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 get security alerts like that block deployments or that that cause issues in production, um, and like recent things like like supply chain attacks like um, log for J incidents that these these are things which we're all dealing with. So is is this um is this a new threat landscape like have have things changed in terms of it or are we just more exposed in how we're doing cloud deployments i think it's more exposed than change i mean these have always been threats but the supply chain is much more visible now i mean it used to be like you'd get a you'd get a, an object and this is a very complex supply chain but you don't see it like you buy this from apple but now we see a lot of the details of the supply chain and the vulnerabilities are easier to exploit because the supply chain is so visible, right? So we're all using all these libraries. So you know, it's a common vector of attack to put a piece of malware in a library and see where it ends up. Or solar winds, you know, put a malware into an update and see where it ends up. And, and this is, I think, a fundamentally hard problem. This is not something you can solve. You can't even say we're going to just use going to make this up us only products there's no such thing we are so international we are so complex that we almost need systems that assume an insecure supply chain and get security anyway but this is yeah. this is going to be our problem for the next decade or more no, no i mean this is this is really interesting so um like like if you have a landscape where you you can't make base assumptions about the security of your software or especially the security of libraries you're using and new threats are are appearing on a on a weekly or daily basis like is is the answer we all need to respond quicker we all need to update our devices faster you know sometimes that doesn't work you think of log4j right i mean update it when you know about it, but you didn't know about it for what years before. Solar winds, the update itself caused the problem. Mm -hmm. We have hardware issues. We're worried about, you know, spy chips on our boards from China. <laughs> There's no update for that. It, it I mean update is is important, and I'm not, I don't want to dismiss it. Update is how we get security in a world where we can't get it right the first time because it's so hard. Right. Mm -hmm. Agility is our mechanism. There are a lot of places where update doesn't work. It doesn't work in Internet of Things at all. I mean, the way okay, you yeah, yeah. So, so the like way the you base... update your home router, you replace it and buy a new one. That's the update path, and that's kind of lousy. Yeah. So, like, maybe it's maybe it's the right answer is agility, right? Like, if you're a response, agility is one of the answers. Yeah. But there are times when agility doesn't work, but agility is our answer right now. Right? We can't get it right the first time, so fix it fast when you figure out it's broken. Okay, and then um, like kind of getting back to to like developers and and folks who are building software, 
Um, I think also, um, so, so here's an example. So my, my, my daughter's a computer science student. She's now taking courses and, and learning programming Python and, and Java and C and C++. Half the content in her C and C++ course was about understanding security vulnerabilities, how to mitigate risk in libraries. And that's not great, right? Because you want them to learn how to make things also, but that's the world we're in. Yeah, I remember when I at was... At least she's getting the... <laughs> the, the I mean, at least they're teaching that. They used to not teach that. I know. I was going to say, like, like a couple of decades ago, when I was in school, the the only introduction we had to cryptography and security was actually your your applied applied cryptography book. That was that was kind of the the gospel. Wow. But they didn't they didn't go into the the details on like practical applications of attacks and things. And now they are teaching students this. I mean, this is a part of computer science. I think that's right, and it should be. I mean, I'm I'm teaching here at Harvard at the Kennedy School, not in computer science. But they are teaching more security now than ever. And also ethics, which is another nice thing to see in computer science classes. Awesome. And I, I think this is part of the reason why we put such a big focus on security at Swamp Up, which is historically a DevOps conference. Now we're turning into DevSecOps, all about security. Very, very excited to have you on the keynote stage talking about security threats and how like all of our audience can actually learn more and, and be uh, more practical on how they apply security. Any, any, um, like, like thoughts or um, like inspiration you want to give people who might be considering attending Swamp Up? I think it's going to be interesting. I'm, I, I'm excited to be there. I promise that it'll be me and not my AI replacement. So you have that to look forward to, and it's in person, <laughs> right? So it'll be really hard for my AI replacement to replace me because we still can't do 3D modeling yet. So. I'm uh it's nice to be able to travel again. I think uh I think we should all go. Awesome. Okay. Look forward to seeing you at Swamp Up. Um, thanks a lot for making time for this short interview. And um it'll be really, really exciting to to have you there and then have all the great DevOps experts um and folks at Swamp Up in San Jose, Cal um, California this year. So thank you very much, Bruce. Hey, thank you, and I'll see you in September. Thank you.